Alrighty. Got this uh, phone here. It's a uh, Butech. <laughs> right, come on, focus. There we go. DECT 6.0. And uh, it don't hold a charge. I've got this thing fully charged here for <laughs> probably two or three months now. Uh, and it never goes above two uh, bars here. If you ever hit the talk button, it just goes completely off. It goes connecting again. Uh, the batteries uh, don't have no capacity left whatsoever. Yeah, see? It's uh, the batteries are junk in it. And what it has is a uh, a BT eighteen four three three two point four volt five hundred milliamp and IMH battery pack. If you look like if you look at it. About the same size of a uh, AA battery. Since this is a 2.4 volt, these batteries here are 1.2, rechargeable. I think these are NIMH, and these are NIMH. So these batteries are pretty much the same deal these batteries here so what are we gonna do we're gonna open the sucker up solder in some new batteries And there we are. What does that look like to you guys? I don't know. They look like AAA batteries to me. It's because they are. So, save yourself some money. Solder in some new ones. So, it looks like these. Well, I just broke that one. That's supposed to be. Solder to that one there, so we gotta solder ours in the same way. Um, just so the, well, actually I could probably do it a better way. Instead of having so much wire here, I mean, I don't know why they didn't do it. I think the batteries connections come out the same way. Um, so what you wanna do is go positive to negative. So this one has to go here, and then that would be your positive and negative, right there. Just connect these two together, and these would be your positive and negative. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure why they didn't do it here. Uh, that'd be your negative, that'd be your positive. Negative, yeah, see negative, positive. Yeah, I see. Well, no, they put positive to positive. Let's see. Negative. That'd be. Hmm. Okay, so they they got both of them like pretty much like this here. Like that. Positive and positive. So your positive would go back. Then do the negative here and then go over to positive again. So uh, I could do it better. I'm just going to put them like this here. Solder this to that. And then I'd have my positive and negative there. It'd be like 2.4 volts. Since uh, these are 1.2 volts. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I need to find me some wire.
Uh, do something like this. This is really thick. Uh, yeah. It's like copper. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go that thick. Let's go maybe something. Something like speaker wire. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Don't need that much. I don't have the right wire cutters here, so give me a minute. There we go. Well, somewhat decent enough. Eh, I ain't gonna focus for the dam, but. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Probably could be a little smaller. But we're not looking for perfection here, are we? Nah. Nah, I wish I had one of those little third hand tripod little things, but I don't, so I'm just gonna have to make do. This is what I usually do, stick it up like that. There we go. Something like that. A little ball of solder on it. That's where it gets tricky. There we are. I have a piece of wire on it right now. Now, since this is so long, make a better connection, I'm just gonna bend it over. There we are. Now, I'm gonna put some solder on this uh, back piece here on the negative. You know, something like that. You can use flux if it doesn't stick very good, but on these batteries, it's sticking really good, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we're going to have to improvise on this. There we go, something like that. If I had a rubber band, I'd put it around the handles here, but I think I can be careful enough to solder it on. Play. Oh, wrong way.
And there we are. <laughs> uh, my phone's going off. I got a text message. Something like that. And then there, uh, there's your positive and negative here. So, what we got to do is uh, take off the negative here and the positive here. Hopefully we don't take off too much. Strip them down. There we go. And there's that one. So we get a tender. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is uh, put some black electrical tape around the uh, two batteries just so they don't move on me. There, just like that. And now when I'm completely finished with this, I want to uh, put some hot glue around all this so the uh, electrical connections don't come off for any reason. So, here we go, and I uh, need these here. All right, now I just need my soldering iron and tender up the connections here. There we go. I'm surprised how well those are sticking. That's just that just amazes me. <laughs> so that would be positive. That would be negative. And that would give you uh, 2.4 volts. And like I said, I want to pinch those together just so there's not much wire sticking up, and it gives it twice the th twice the strength. Now I gotta, well, another way, there, put something like that, solder them in. Well, that one ain't on there very good. Let's see if I can't make it a little better. Put some more solar on here. Alrighty, there we are. And there is uh, 2.4 volts. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. I've got these batteries fully charged already. Oh. Connecting. There we go. Oh, we still got two bars. 
Ha ha ha. This is our temperature time uh, from the bank or whatever. Good evening. Not sure you're in the right mix of investments? Give us a call at PNC to discuss what you can do to get your ultimate destination. Today's date is Friday, March 29th. PNC Bank time, 739. The current temperature, 52. Thank you for calling. There we are. Working perfectly. Now all I gotta do is uh, put some hot glue on these, tape it up a little better, and uh, put it back on the charger. And it's good to go. I've only had these things on the charger for uh, maybe an hour. These things are like four hour rechargeable batteries, so that probably explains why there's only two bars. But as you can see, I'm actually getting <laughs> A lot longer time than what I did before out of it, out of just the uh, the regular ones. If I had my multimeter up here, I'd go ahead and test you test it and, and I'd tell you what the voltage are uh, coming out of these. But I think we already uh, explained. Wow, that's just amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off and uh, I'll show you or uh, I'll tell you in the description if uh, it actually works beyond tonight or not and uh, we'll go from there alright <laughs> 